Hi guys, I'm Brooke and the painting that I will be doing this video over is The Fall of Rebel Angels. And um, the city and country of this work is Antwerp, Belgium. And the specific location of The Fall of the Rebel Angels is the Royal Museums of Fine Arts of Belgium. Um, and the artist responsible for this work is Peter Brugel of the Peter Brugel the Elder, sorry. Um, and his nationality is Dutch. Um, the medium of this work is painting. It's a panel. Um, the period of this work is Renaissance, and the historical relevance of this work is um, it uh, depicts the combat of the archangel with the fallen angels. Um, being described in the book of Revelation and um, was frequently illustrated from the Middle Ages onwards. Um, I'm not sure how long it took to create, but it was made in 1562. And this work is important because few people had made up sick, weird creatures like those in this painting, so that kind of marked it as different from other paintings. Um, and some defining characteristics of this work are, like I said, the creatures in this work and the colors he used. Um, yeah, some of the colors he used were very bright and different. Um, some historical contributions of the artist is that he was one of the world's most postered painters and his works provide a profound and elemental insight into man and his relationship to the world of nature. Um, my personal observation is that I thought this painting seemed to depict mayhem. Um, it's so chaotic and it looks like it's supposed to be scary and sure enough it is. Um, and I chose this work because it looks abstract and magical and it kind of reminds me of some of the art in Pink Floyd's The Wall. Um, and this work compares to other works within the period and that um, I think that it's definitely a lot busier and full of symbolism, um, which other works also have, but this one's like packed with it. Um, and a fun fact is that a reproduction of this painting appears at the beginning of a music video, Blood, Sweat and Tears of the K-pop group, <laughs> BTS.